Google's Nano Banana Pro just released and it's powered by Gemini 3. And unlike any other tool, this tool knows exactly how to get the right data from online search and how to get the logic right before it generates any footage that you could think of. For example, I'm just gonna change the image to clear, change the focus from the ball to the person's face. Or we can also take the sketch and translate it into an actual object. And we can also transform any images we have into different aspect ratios while keeping all the details inside of our images. Or what I can do here is I can take one single image, generate a bunch of images here with different angles. Then we can combine those images with different angles and pieces them all together in one single video. You can see here that for each scene, we have a motion, we have a video and put them all together, which looks something like this. Now, before we demonstrate to you, these are the agenda for this video. So first thing first, I'm gonna cover the character inconsistencies and also test out the physics and logics as well as able to render the text correctly on the image itself. Fourth is gonna be outputting the 4K highest resolutions that we have on the image and also changing at the aspect ratio for any image for our image generation here. So in this case, if you wanna try this out, feel free to navigate to Hicksfield and currently they're offering a 65% off on the Black Friday deal, which gets the unlimited access to the Nano Banana Pro. So with that being said, if you're interested, let's get into the video now for demonstration. The first feature we're gonna take a look at is the multi-image blending, where we're gonna take a bunch of images like these using Google Nano Banana Pro to generate a complete new image based on the reference image that we provide. So according to Google, we can get up to 14 input reference images and combine those elements and create a complete new image based on the reference image that we provide. So in this case, let's take a look at how to do that with Google Nano Banana Pro. All right, so to test out the Nano Bananas blending images feature, first thing first, we're gonna click on the image from the Higgs field, and here we have our Nano Banana Pro. We're just gonna select this feature right here, and once we select it, here you can see that we have our prompt window. So here I'm just gonna paste the prompt window here, and I'll make sure to put the prompts from this video inside of our Discord community so that you can get access to all the prompts that we talk about in this video. So simply, we're just gonna put the prompts here. So we have two prompts, one is with the sunglass and one with without the sunglass. And basically what we're gonna do here is gonna put all those images and the prompts submitted to the Nano Banana Pro. And let's see what it generates after we submit this request. So in this case, I'm just going to drag those photos here, upload onto the prompt. Then what we can do here is we can change our settings. So for example, here you can see we're selecting the Nano Banana Pro right here. And here you can change it to different models you like for the image generations but I'm just gonna stick with the Nano Banana Pro here and here we can also change the aspect ratio so for example you can do horizontal you can do vertical I'm just gonna go with 916 right here okay and we can also be able to change the resolution for example we can do 1k 2k or we can be able to do the highest resolution with the 4k I'm just gonna focus on 1k now and then once we generate some photos and then we can be able to you know improve the resolutions up to 4k if we want to okay so I'm just gonna stick with 1k right here and then we're just gonna change the batch size, so how many photos we want the AI here to generate all at once. I'm just gonna change that to two. So in this case, I'm just going to submit this request and let's see what AI here generates. All right, so here you can see that this is what the AI generates and right away you can see that this is inside of the Merlion Park and here you can see that for the full body portrait, right? So we have our uh, black top, black bottoms and here we have our shoes. And now if we try to zoom in for the shoes, you can see that here, this is the original photo that we upload for the shoes which has some wave or patterns. And now if we were to come back to the photo here, you can see that we do have some details inside of our image right here. We also have our iPhone, right? 16 or 17 we have our sunglasses so this is the, basically the shape of sunglass and now if we were to all look at the original photo this is what the sunglasses looks like so pretty much identical for the assets that we upload and let's try to do it one with delta glasses here try to see if it's able to do the face correctly and to do so i basically put this prompt right here for the without the glass inside of the markdown file as well so that you can get it inside your discord and this is the prompt that i put for the without the sunglass and this is what the result look like after it generates and here you can see that this is what the face look like which here you can see this is the hairstyle this is the face and now if i were to come back to the headshot you can see that this looks very accurate based on um, the image that I have uploaded, okay? All right, so the next feature that I wanna show you is the graphic design and text rendering for Google Nano Banana here. So simply I provide some images, take it to the Nano Banana here, and you can see that I was able to generate some posters with text rendering and also the consistent characters throughout the designs, right? And also if I were to put this in a comic book, you can see that I was able to do that for the entire storyline, which is the consistent character, right? And throughout the entire storyline. So let me show you how to do that with the Google Nano Banana here for the graphic 
graphic designs and also the text rendering here. So here you can see that I have prepared a prompt for the Wire Magazine cover. So what I want to do here is I want to create a Wire Magazine cover featuring the uploaded pro, uh, portrait photo. So I'm just going to copy this prompt, navigate to Nano Banana here. In this case, I'm just going to upload the headshot. And if I were to click on generate, you can see that we have three uh, design right here, which here you can see this is the Wire Magazine logo. We have our letter jacket. We also have our text render exactly like what we mentioned in the prompts, which shows here. And if we were to look back at the prompt, you can see that we have our main cover line, the secondary lines. And now if we were to come back to the poster, you can see that this text are rendered exactly like what we mentioned inside of our prompt. So the other part that I want to test is using that for the Forbes 30 under 30 cover. And basically this is the prompt that we have prepared and I'm just going to copy this. And this is the main cover line, the secondary lines that we're going to do. And here is what we have for the results. And I have also done this for a different headshot for a different person. Here you can see this is the exact same prompts and here's what it generates for the forest cover. And we also have done the same for the wire cover. So here you can see this is what it looks like. So here you can see that this is the prompt that I generate using AI. Basically, it's going to be a comic story. And here we're just going to simply upload two images for the portrait photos as the main character of the stories. So this is what I did. So I have uploaded those two images and the prompt. And here I have sent this to the Nano Banana here to generate the entire comic story and here you can see that one you can see we have consistent characters throughout the entire story comic and second you can see we also have text and also the message bubble rendered correctly inside of the story as well very simple story but you can see that it really renders everything very well so let's take a look at the next feature, which is ability to create infographics and do research on your behalf. So for example, here you can see I was simply just pasting an image without telling Google Nano Banana where that is. And Nano Banana here is able to do research and tell you exactly and generate the entire infographics image. And here you can see it labels the correct places and the correct facts. And here you can see it labels the uh, locations on you know where that is and also what are the surrounding places are, which is really smart. And I was also able to do this for like smartphones so here you can see for products is able to do research on what that product is and generate an infographic so in this case let's take a look at how to do that with google nano banana here and here if i were to ask it this is the exact prompt that i'd ask it to do and here you can see that this is what the result look like which we have are some facts and also the location on the map and overall gives you a accurate travel infographics and of course you can also do that for products well so here you can see we have samsung phones and here, this is the exact prompt that I use, which is to transform this product into an infographics. And now if I were to generate this, this is what it looks like. So here you can see that we have three different phones and you can see that what's really amazing here is that it's able to do a research on what this product is. For example, S25, S25 Plus, S25 Ultra. And for each product, it's gonna give you a spec on what each product does. For example, eight gigabyte RAM, 12 gigabyte RAM and also 16 gigabyte of RAM, which already does the research for you for what information needs to be included for the infographics. All right, moving on to the next feature from Nano Banana Pro is the ability to resize any images we have. So here you can see that this is the headshot that I was mentioning, and I can be able to resize this one to one image right here into like four to three or maybe like 16 to nine. And all we had to do here, just change our aspect ratio settings to auto so that it can be able to automatically resize to the right aspect ratio that we specify here inside of our prompts. So for example, I'm just gonna resize this photo to a four to three aspect ratio. And now you can see this aspect ratio for this photo has changed. All right, so pretty much that's it for this video. And here you can see that these are all the features or all the things that we test out for the Nano Banana. And also in terms of the testing, these are the things that we have go over in this video. So make sure to like this video and consider subscribe for more content like this. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.